Hi guys, my name is Tyler. We're here at Logos Performance and today we're working on a 2019 Subaru WRX. We're gonna be installing the Blocks Racing Street 2 coilovers and this will be a quick installation video on how to do so. So taking these out of the box, these are 32-way adjustable coilovers. We have um, 7K springs in the front, 8K springs in the rear with dampening adjustment on top. These should give plenty of ride height clearance and great ride to quality of the vehicle as well. So a common mistake when installing coilovers, specifically on the 19 WRXs and up, you gotta make sure to take out your wheel speed sensor. It's just this little clip right here and a 10 mil bolt on the inside. We've seen a lot of people who come in who do not remove this right here, and it does actually end up breaking. So make sure you remove that from the hub and at least set it out to the side to make sure you have plenty of clearance to work on the rest of the load. So there is a plastic cap that sits over these. All you really gotta do is get the flat head in between them and pull them out. You should be able to pull the rest of them out from there. A 90 degree pick works pretty well for them or if you have a interior, one of those plastic interior pulling tools, those work really well. It's just pretty much anything to get behind that little plastic part to make sure it releases. Now that we've got these old coil livers out of the car, we're gonna be reinstalling our new blocks racing coil livers in our 19 WRX. At this stage of the build process, we're gonna be adjusting our coil liver ride height. At this point as well, don't forget your dampening screws. They just slide right into the top of the coil liver. And this is what gives you your 32 way adjustable dampening. So when adjusting your coil liver ride height, I like to make sure all the coil livers start off the same. Specifically for me, I like to start as low as I can go and then work my way up from there. Always make sure you release your bottom locking nut. If this one... Really? The rest of them were loose. There we go. So make sure that your bottom locking nut is loose. You righty-tiny to get it higher up on the coil motor and then you spin the bottom shaft in order to adjust. You're right high. That was Before you get started on installing your coil overs, make sure you differentiate which one is driver's side and passenger side. The easiest way to do that is to line up your brake line bracket and your speed sensor bracket. Speed sensor bracket's gonna be black. It's gonna be where that plastic clip clips into. And the brake line bracket's gonna have that 12, 12 millimeter bolt in it. Easiest way to tell is they'll hold it up, line it up, make sure you got which side needs to go in. I know we are using some pretty high-tech tools here, like a two-post lift and a pole jack, but these coilovers are pretty easy to do and can be done with some pretty minimalist tools. Here, just put a helmet on me the entire time, just put a bag over my head. <laughs>
So a couple things we are noticing with this coilover kit is if the bottom of the strut is touching the axle boot with this specific car, we are trying to get pretty low. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the height just a little bit in order to ensure to clear that axle boot. So this car has plenty of drivability. So that was our first part of this installation and review of these coilovers. As of right now, all we've done is just put the coilovers on and get everything measured to fit. We're gonna drive the car around for about a month and we'll give you guys a full comprehensive review on how these coilovers drive and feel on the road. Hey guys, so we're back about two months after we installed our coilovers on our WRX. I've been daily driving the vehicle every single day and it's made a couple of long road trips down to Sonoma and back, as well as down to San Francisco and back. The coilovers drive fantastic. I did have to make some minor adjustments to the vehicle after initial installation. A little bit of preload added to the rear and front. After rolling the fenders, I had zero clearance issues with our wheel and tire setup. I really like these coilovers for the price. They drive pretty well. I decided to add a little bit more stiffness just for a little bit more comfortability with how low the vehicle is on the rough roads we have here around our town. And for the price that they are, I wouldn't suggest anything else. If you are looking to get a set of these coilovers for yourself, go ahead and come on down to Low Boost Performance. Uh, Austin, do we price match? We do price match. And if you are looking to have us install them, we can do that in our full shop we have here. I'm Tyler from Low Boost Performance. Thank you guys for joining us. And if you are looking for any more additional content or parts, go ahead and come on down to Low Boost Performance.